said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I'll make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. And the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought, it, brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to be with his wife, and they become one flesh.
Sam, if you didn't know this, Lauren is blown away by your ability to be composed and remain silent and objective in decisions and in life. She sees you as brilliant. She loves how generous you are and how bold you are in the face of fear and the unknown. And I just want to quote this next part because I thought this was awesome. She said this, He also may be, most beautifully, believes in the mysticism of the Lord and a God who is intangible and unpredictable in blessings. He forces me to look at all the confusing pieces of the Creator in awe without need for explanation. God is, perhaps, one of the only things Samuel doesn't need an explanation for. Now, Sam, that is incredible. Your faith moves her, and I hope you know that. Lauren, if you didn't know, Sam thinks that you are sufficiently enjoyable. <laughs> he admires so much the passion and excitement that you pursue life with. And by being so, you challenge him to tap into a view of things that he doesn't normally do. You stretch him, broaden his horizons, and you make him see things in a new way. He meets new people, and he learns to live in the moment. He finds you hilarious and beautiful and analytical, and probably the biggest compliment that he has paid you is that you love others in a way that is unmatched. So thankful to be sitting here with you two. Um, it has been an amazing ride. And Lauren, you have taught me so much, though you are 36 months younger. <laughs> um, and I think that the thing that you have taught me the most is that when you follow the Lord, you follow Him. And you know, you don't listen to anyone else. I have a built-in best friend, um, and that's really what we've been for my whole life. So seeing him so happy today has just really meant the world to me. And I feel like I saw a side of Sam especially that I hadn't got to see just that day to day. Um, but yeah, it was incredibly special. And I, I feel like one of my most important roles as maid of honor was successful because um, their wedding showers were not baby showers. So third wheeling, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> no, but... He's broken his arm on a long board. Um, he's broken his arm tripping and falling on a soccer ball. But, I've also had food poisoning in Tracy's car. <laughs> and one time I called his house on their home phone, thought it was Sam, and said, Hey big boy, to Ron. <laughs>